Hello everyone, Phoenix Feather here, and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. This is a little bit different. This is actually going to be a tutorial, because uh, I've been asked a lot, how do you mod American Truck Simulator? So I figured, instead of typing it out a bajillion times, uh, I'd just make a video and direct people to this video. So, first things first, you got to find a mod you like. Um, I, I like mods ATS.com. Uh, it just has a lot more selection. Mod Hub's also good, uh, but this site tends to have a lot more uh, mods than what Mod Hub does. So you come here, you download what you want. I'm just for the sake of the video, I'm going to download the T800. Enter. There we go. I'm going to go with this one because this is the one that. I have, I've used before and just install it for the sake of the video again um, one thing to note standalone truck now what standalone truck means is when you put this in your game it's not going to replace one of the in game trucks uh, I'm going to show you what I mean by that once we get it in so we're going to download this one if you come down here I've already got it downloaded so we're just going to Skip, skip that part. All you gotta do is click download and then it goes up and click free download. Uh, basically like downloading a farming simulator mod. And then we're gonna get the Mac that replaces this one right here. This one actually replaces the in-game Kenworth I believe. So you can see here it doesn't say standalone. Not all the standalone ones are gonna say standalone. Uh, so don't rely on that but most time if it doesn't say standalone it's probably not standalone. So we'll, we've already got this one downloaded also, so we're just going to skip that. Now we're going to go over to the American Truck Simulator file in your My Documents folder. Alright, so here we are. We're in the American Truck Simulator folder in the My Documents section. Documents, American Truck Simulator. Okay, music, online profiles, profiles back, screenshot, and a bunch of random stuff. Okay, so... You're like, where do I put the mods at? Well, you actually have to do this. You actually have to go to new folder and type in M-O-D, mod. That's it. No capital, no S. Just mod. Boom. You got a mod folder created. Oh, it's empty. So I moved my my two to the my documents folder. Here's the Kenworth and here's the Mac. Easily done. We're going to cut and go into our mod folder. Paste boom they are in now we have to activate them in the mod manager in the actual game so I'm going to cut to there now okay so here we are we are in game now as you see I got two profiles I got my actual let's play online account and then below the the mod account that was available for download and I downloaded it with all the money and the levels just for the sake of mod spotlights so you have to actually do it for each profile. So you have more than one profile. You have to do it for each of them. So we're going to go to Mod Manager. Actually, let's... Yes. Okay, I tried doing this before like twice and something always goes wrong. So um, and when you first come in, there's going to be nothing here. Nothing at all here. And as you can see, we have our Kenworth T800 and Matt Tribune here that we're going to actually put in the game. So, we're going to want our T-800. And we're going to want our Mac Tribune. That's how it's pronounced, right? Yeah, it makes sense. All right. So, you can do it this way. You can just double click them. Or you can... You can do it like this. If you want to take them all out, you can do this. If you want to put them all in, you can do this. Pretty simple, right? And uh, just for future reference, any sound files you have have to go towards the top of the list. If I understood Monty and to or Tough correctly, all mod sound mods have to go towards the top of the list. And just like uh, the police finds and stuff like that, they have to be towards the top. They can't be at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna click confirm changes, and we're gonna go in game. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
So we got our Peterbilt here. Now, if we go in, since I already had the T800 installed on this one, we go in our company manager, truck manager. Yep, all our T800s are still here. Boom, 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 boom. So I already had those bought since I had it in the account before, so they're going to show back up. But if you go to truck dealers, we're going to go to Kenworth, buy online. And as you can see here, the Kenworth T800 extended day cab right here. Boom, it's in game, it's ready to go. Now, this is a standalone, so it's going to be in there regardless. Now, as you can see here, the Kenworth T680, which is the in game truck, you're looking, you're like, wait, those are not the T680s. This is the Mac truck that we put in game. It replaces the Kenworth T680s. So you can you can't have the in-game truck while you have the Mac, if that makes sense. Um, there are quite a bit of mods that do this, so if you are if you install a lot of trucks and you're like, well, only one shows up, that's probably because they replace the same truck. I mean, there's only two game or trucks in game, so there's only so much they can replace, but um, yeah, the two in-game trucks do get replaced by some mods, so you gotta watch that. You re really do. That's why I prefer the standalone mods because you don't have to worry about in replacing your in-game truck. You don't have to worry about another mod conflicting with it and all that good stuff. So uh, definitely, standalone mods are the way to go. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. If this video helped you out at all, please leave a like down below. If you guys want to see more of American Truck Simulator videos, be sure to click subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.